Welcome back to CBS This Morning. A recent report shows how this pandemic has dramatically reduced preventative medical care that can be life-saving. For instance, the number of mammograms for women ages 46 to 64 dropped about 41 percent in March. That's compared to a year earlier and 90 percent in April. Yet some women who are now going back and getting the test say they cost for what they thought was a free screening was not covered. So we're looking at the surprise bills as part of our series Medical Practice Roulette in collaboration with the Clear Health Cost. Our consumer investigative correspondent, that's Anna Werner, joins us now with more on this story. So, Anna, what did they find out? Yeah, good morning, Gail. You know, we've heard more about the high costs of mammograms and other imaging tests than perhaps any other issue we've covered in this series. Now we're hearing about this problem again from women who face bills for hundreds of dollars, and some of them are now hurting financially because of the pandemic. The last thing stay-at-home mom Rachel Schmidt expected during the pandemic was a bill for her first screening mammogram, a test that under the Affordable Care Act is supposed to be paid for. I'd always heard that, you know, the screenings after 40 were covered. And so it was just, I was just shell-shocked. She went in for that test in August, but after she mentioned some tenderness around a lump, staff told her she'd have to come back a month later instead for a diagnostic mammogram, one that's more detailed, plus an ultrasound. But then came the bill, nearly $1,200 her insurance company refused to pay. I've been calling anyone I can to just get some answers as to what's going on. And have you gotten any answers? <laughs> Not many. Insurance was pretty much cut and dry. It's diagnostic. We don't pay for it. Not only that, she says, although her husband's still working, the pandemic cost her her job as a teaching assistant at her children's school. It hits pretty hard. We don't have a lot of emergency savings left. Many other women nationwide have told us the same that their doctors ordered a test their insurance company says doesn't fit the definition of a screening mammogram, like a diagnostic mammogram, an ultrasound, or an MRI. And they've wound up with bills for hundreds of dollars. That's despite the fact that nearly half of women over 40 have dense breast tissue, and experts say regular mammograms miss more than 50% of cancers in women with dense breasts. Women like Mary Canny, who says of standard mammograms, they do did not pick up my breast cancers both times. In both cases, Canny felt lumps, later confirmed as cancers by additional screening tests, the second time in 2014 after a supposedly negative mammogram. I found the lump within a month and um, I went right away to have it checked out and it was cancerous. I can't trust the regular mammograms. Because of that, this year, her oncologist ordered a more advanced 3D mammogram. But after the test, she got the bill, $856. The reason? Her insurance company said the test was coded as diagnostic, not screening. We can afford to pay for the mammogram, but we don't feel that it is right or fair. Even worse, Kenny and other women say the high bills have given them pause. I shared my story um, with my friends on Facebook, and I had so many comments saying, wow, now I'm going to think twice about going. And I said, please don't. But then when it's also going to cost your family, you know, that amount of money, you put it off sometimes. A recent study shows the potential human costs of putting off those tests. Quest Diagnostics looked at its own numbers of newly diagnosed cancer patients served through lab tests and found as many as 20 percent of women with breast cancer may have been going undiagnosed since May. Medical Director Dr. Harvey uh, Kaufman. They've missed their mammograms, they missed their physician visits, and they have cancer. And for some, it will have tragic consequences. In March, Republican Senator Roy Blunt and Democratic Senator Jean Shaheen told us they'd introduced legislation to cover all diagnostic tests in the law, in part due to our reporting. I was watching your piece when you were talking about the fact that um, so many insurance companies don't cover diagnostic breast exams. I said, well, we should do something about that. But progress on their bill, too, has been delayed. I think if anything, and this problem has gotten bigger uh, because people have put off tests. They have let things progress in ways that they wouldn't have otherwise. I'd like to solve the problem. 
Well, Canny told us that she fought her bill with Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Minnesota for three months without any success. After we contacted them, her problem was quickly resolved. The company telling us, in fact, yes, it was a screening mammogram and her costs will now be fully covered. They told her, however, that that's just an exception for this time. Rachel Schmidt's insurance company, Kaiser Permanente, told her that diagnostic mammograms are fully covered, but only after the deductible is met. So a lot of costs involved. Tony, other people who have stories about this can, yeah. can email us at healthcosts at cbsnews.com. And I would recommend they do. It's remarkable how many times uh, costs are dropped after Anna Werner makes an inquiry. Also remarkable that you're inspiring some bipartisan effort to find a solution. So good news on that front as well. Anna, thank you very much.